Congratulations on the birth of your newborn. Today in this video, we're going to cover two topics that we talk about at all newborn visits. The first topic is related to safe sleep. So at the beginning, um, when your uh, baby is little, the safest place for your baby to be is in the same room as you, but not in the same bed as you. So a bassinet, a crib, a um, co-sleeper attached to the side of your bed, a pack and play, um, all of those are safe options for your baby to sleep in at nighttime. Second, your baby should be put to sleep on his or her back, not their side or their belly. Babies may twist a little to the side when they're sleeping, but you should get into the habit of putting your baby to sleep on their back. There's one small study that shows falling asleep uh, running a fan in the room may have some protection against SIDS or sudden infant death syndrome. So if you have a room fan or a ceiling fan and you run that on low, there may be some benefit to that. Lastly, there's one small study that shows falling asleep with the baby sucking on a pacifier may also have some protection against SIDS. If you weren't planning on using a pacifier, that's okay, but if you are, there may be some benefit to that. So safest thing is to be in the same room, but not in the same bed and be put to sleep on their back. The second topic that we'll cover today has to do with signs of illness or infection. So babies this little don't have a lot of ways to let us know if they're sick. You're, you guys are gonna become the experts on what is normal and abnormal for your infant. So say your baby normally eats every three to four hours. Gosh, it's been eight hours. I can't wake him up to feed him. Something looks different with his skin. Something sounds different with his cry. Call us so we can at least talk through this and decide if your baby needs to be seen in the office. The absolute thing we need to know about is if your baby has a fever, which until babies are three months old, we consider that a rectal temperature above 100.4. If you don't have a digital thermometer that can be used rectally, you should get one because that is the only accurate way to check your baby's temperature until he or she is about six months of age. But that being said, we don't want you checking the temperature all day, every day, just because you don't have anything else to do. You only wanna check the temperature if your baby's acting funny and feels hot. And then you wanna unwrap the baby for maybe 10 minutes or so, check the temperature in his bottom, and if it is above 100.4, we need a phone call. Under six to eight weeks of age, if your baby gets a fever, that means a trip to the hospital. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that goes on with that. Blood work, urine testing, spinal tap, admission to the hospital, IV antibiotics. It's this whole big ordeal that we don't want any of our families to go through. So you really need to keep your baby away from sick people um, for sure the first four weeks and if you can, the first um, six to eight weeks. So family members can visit, but they all need to wash their hands before they hold the baby. If family is sick, they need to stay away from the baby as much as you can. Again, for the first four weeks, if you can, the first eight weeks, keep the baby out of crowded, germy places. So church, the grocery store, the mall. If you have to go those places, keep the baby covered up in the car seat or if you have a baby sling or a baby carrier that the baby can be attached to you um, and kept away from lots of germs and people um, trying to touch and see the baby, that would be the safest um, thing for your baby. If you have any other questions about um, these topics or anything else um, related to your newborn, um, please address those with the doctor when they come in for your visit. Thank you.